What's going on guys, Ben Gligan here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants Franchise. And today this will be the final game of the regular season as we take on the Philadelphia Eagles and then simulate against the Jets. I assume that's what's going to happen. Things could change depending on how I'm feeling, depending on what I want to do. We are going to spend our scouting points at the start of this episode. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like. And I, I, I hate to ask for likes. I did YouTube for many years before I ever asked for likes because I just didn't like it. It made me feel dirty. But you know what? The videos where people like them do much better. And it's like, if I want to grow my channel, I would I would appreciate if you wouldn't mind, if you do enjoy the video. If you don't, fucking who cares? But if you like the video, like the video. If you're not subscribed already, I would appreciate that. That This is the group of players we're looking at. Uh, quarterback is a position I'm considering drafting, but I really don't want another Kyle Aletta, if that makes sense. I don't want someone with a decent arm and decent accuracy. I want a cannon of an arm, and we can develop, you know, other aspects of their game. And at wide receiver, I think we're pretty much fine. So it's all about securing the offensive line, and it's all about what can we do to get more playmakers on defense. I know defense is held up pretty well, and I will show you guys the new updated sliders for those who are asking for them. I made some tweaks. Nothing crazy. Of course, we slaughtered the Bills last week, but they're not all like that. This is what we got going so far. I've turned down run blocking slightly. Um, I've turned down CPU pass blocking. I've turned up their run blocking. I think these have played pretty well so far. But I will say that um, I'm always, you know, up for tweaking them some more as we head into season number three and the playoffs. We got the Eagles today in week 16. I'm sure it's not going to be an easy matchup. Let's go ahead and check out the news, see if we've missed anything in particular. Draft stories. Alexander Espinoza added his name to the brief list of defensive players to win the Heisman Trophy. We have a Heisman winner. Interesting. Floyd Earl wins the quarterback battle against Michael Kaur. And uh, other than that, nothing crazy. Taylor Coffey's a good run stuffer. Looks like he's going to be very solid. Uh, Trevor Hull got injured. It was a great D-line prospect. Who is Espinoza? What position would he be? I, I don't even want to make a guess because, I mean, any player could have potentially won it. It wouldn't just be a pass rusher. It wouldn't necessarily just be a defensive back or a linebacker. What was his name? Espinoza? Alexander Espinoza? Not seeing him so far. He's a middle linebacker, and we already have him watched. Out of Wisconsin. He is very, very good. And now he adds a Heisman Trophy to his list of accolades. Interesting. Certainly will be, but today, of course, I've mentioned it a couple times now. We have the Philadelphia Eagles, 89 overall to our 84 overall. We crushed the 73 or 74 overall Buffalo Bills. The trick is to play smart, take the checkdowns, take what's open. Hopefully we beat the Eagles. This would be huge for the division. It would absolutely lock up the division win. I think we have it already. I don't remember the records. If the Eagles win out and we lose out, I think we might not have it. Okay, it's on the screen. 10-4 and 4 versus 12-2. and 2. So I guess via the tiebreaker, I'm not sure what would happen. But if they win out, and we lose out, we could very well uh, only have a wild card spot. So this is a pretty important game, in my opinion. Eagles, Giants. The logo is uh, blocking all of the New York Giants Super Bowls for. And, of course, the Eagles logo could never get in the way of just one. But today, it's going to be a tough matchup. Um, I'm just hoping the sliders play really well. Hopefully we have a fun, competitive, exciting game. I want natural pressure. Um, I want... You know, just an overall solid competitive matchup. That's what I'm hoping for. Odell's in full sleeves now. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. Eagles currently in the hunt for the wild card, as are the Washington Redskins. We've clinched the wild card, which I don't like. But I want to win the division. A win here solidifies it. Carson Wentz having an incredible season. 3,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, only four interceptions today. We hope to... Uh, Double his interception total. That'd be phenomenal. I want to get pressure on the quarterback. I want to force turnovers. We can beat this Philadelphia Eagles team. We've shown it before. Can we dominate them? That's another question. Run blocking should be better for the CPU. And, uh, of course, we're going up against a pretty talented quarterback. 
Oh, that's a great stop from Lorenzo Carter. Almost. Jay Ajayi breaks off the tackle. And uh, comes really close to the first down. Third and one. Need a stop here. We're playing hard flats. Get in line. Get up the middle. Jay Ajayi gets the first down. It's going to be tough to stop this running game. Last time we played the Eagles, if I recall correctly, they ran the ball a lot and did not pass the ball very much. And now that run blocking is higher for the CPU, we might have a lot of trouble today. Let's play action. Getting over the middle and we get pressure and a sack. Olivier Vernon completes his goal, his 60th career sack for the veteran outside linebacker now out of the University of Miami, former Miami Dolphin as well. And just didn't, I don't even know what happened there. He got cut up by the running back, nothing open. That's a coverage sack, I'll take it. Third and 18 now. We'll be using Lorenzo Carter on a Jay Ajayi, who is on a block and release sort of deal. Trying to get back over the middle, but we leave Ajayi wide open. He steps out of bounds, and the Philadelphia Eagles likely will punt. Howard Russell is returning kicks for us, but uh, I think probably Morris DuBose, the cornerback, the rookie corner, might eventually take over those responsibilities. Not positive, but the offense is going to see the field for the first time today. All right, we got a screen. Sterling Shep uh, Shepard short or Saquon Barkley. I, I'm pressing circle. He's not doing it. We're going to lob it. Odell Beckham Jr. And there is a flag. Odell catches it. This one might be coming back. It's going to be pass interference on the offense. Evan Ingram. Thanks, dude. It's going to be third and 22 after the sack. Pressure just got in way too quickly. And we're going to pass lead to the inside. Sterling Shepard drops the ball over the middle. Kyle Aletta 0 for 1. A lot different than his last start. And we're going to punt the ball right back on what is apparently a super cold day here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. That's going to be a good punt. No, no, it's not. He's going to take a deep shot. Oh, my goodness. It's Parker Kuhn, the rookie, exposed over the top. Nat DeGear ends up making the play. We're in man coverage, and we had nobody covering the route with, uh, with the blitz. We're lucky that wasn't even more yardage. That's mine. Use your pick, BJ Goodson. Hungry, hungry caterpillar with the easy read we're passing here on second and four we're gonna throw outside Odell Beckham Jr. just manages to catch it for a 13 yard gain that was a really close call maybe threw that ball a second too late I'll take the first though here's Laletta waiting for something to develop we're gonna roll out we're just gonna take the easy open pass Evan Ingram I don't know what that animation is did not let me run Second down and three. We have the check down available. I'm going to throw that ball. That's open. Sterling Shepard into the end zone for the touchdown. As we are going to strike first here. Only Sterling Shepard's fifth touchdown on the season. But it's a crowded offense for touches. We got Odell Beckham Jr., Saquon Barkley, Evan Ingram, the rookie Howard Russell. It is difficult to get touches. But Sterling Shepard, you got to make him count. And he's made some pretty big plays all year. That was a pretty big one right there as well let's play action uh where are you janoris jenkins we we're in hard flats i don't really blame him for that carson wentz is good with a good read of the defense good throw 28 yards to alshon jeffrey let's play action throw it at me are you kidding dude that's slow down there all right I keep throwing at my user you know it's gonna happen i'll take the ball right back to run shut it down Olivier Vernon gets bowled over. First down for Jay Ajayi. Oh, that's a sack. Let's go. BJ Goodson on the middle linebacker blitz. Helping us out, giving us a little bit of breathing room here. As it is now second in goal from the eight instead of, you know, pressed right on the goal line. Carson Wentz could have got the ball out there. Could have been really tough for us to cover everything, but it is second in goal. And that is a ball thrown out of the end zone. This play could be absolutely lethal. All I need is a little bit of time. We don't really get it. We're going to throw to Saquon Barkley, though. On the move are the chains. We pick up the first down. Kyle Oletta looking pretty sharp today. 
Might take a deep shot over the top to Howard Russell or Odell, depending on if anybody gets real major separation. Michael Bennett gets to the quarterback, picks up his 10th sack of the season. Didn't have the time on that one. All right, we got everything going to the right here. That's going to be a blitz. We might have to check down quickly. And we're going to do just that. Saquon Barkley. He's got the first down. Ah, that's a bad read. Thought Jalen Mills would have played that a lot differently. We're going to get picked off here by the Green Goblin. Just, I thought, based on the defense, and you guys already know that Morris Dubose or Janoris Jenkins don't make that play in the same defense. I just hate all Madden like that. He played that so tight. It's annoying. He did not get it. There's no way. Fourth and one. Punt. This is go for it territory if you ask me, but they are going to punt. And it looks like it's a pretty damn good one. Out at the 31, so not at all. Looks can be very deceiving, apparently. It's going to be third and 13. We threw a pick uh, in a similar setup. But we were running the play that actually got us the first down. Third and 13. Get it, Evan! It's too tight of a throw. I just got to check down to Saquon probably there. That's a sack. Roman Pugh. Relentless in his pursuit of Carson Wentz. Brings him down. The rookie picks up his 10th sack of the season. The Roman Soldier. We're getting after the quarterback a little bit here. Mostly play action stuff. But we're not going to worry about that. Doesn't matter how you get him as long as you do. Oh no. What a ball. What a ball from Carson Wentz. Can't hate on that. Got a runner play action. It's play action. And that's a sack. Tedrick Thompson comes in unblocked. We sent heat. And we got there. Eagles chose the wrong time to dial up a play action. And we're going to continue to send heat. As it has been effective. And that is going to be no good. Jake Elliott misses the field goal by inches. Here goes Saquon. It's a huge gain. Saquon, five rushes, 30 yards. He's been decently effective so far, clearly. Averaging, uh, what, six yards per carry? So we might continue to feed him a little bit here. Let's try to take the safety away. Let's take the cornerback away. And we are pretty much looking for Odell. I really wish I could send uh, Sterling Shepard like, over the top on a deep post over Odell. It'll give us another look. But we're going to try this out. Just give me blocking. Give me time. Something's going to be open. And there's Odell. It's a good throw from Lalletta. Odell with the toe drag. And we're inside the 10. First and goal. We're going to throw that ball. And it's too low. Should have high pointed to DeMar Jacobs. We had him. We had him. The ball came out too low. Jordan Hicks goes up. Gets his third interception on the season. And we have blown an opportunity here in the red zone. That's so frustrating. Oh, we might have Evan Ingram over the top. I'm going to try to get it to Odell. Kyle Ouellette is going to fumble on the strip sack. Did Michael Bennett get there again? Our right tackle is just being annihilated. They're sending four. He they just can't hold up. We had one of two things there. We had either Evan Ingram or Odell. I liked Odell. It was a safer throw, but we couldn't even get it off. Get there. Dalvin Tomlinson. We sent a lot of guys there. If they would have passed, may have been effective. It's a run, and we had just too many guys in the box. Too many guys in the backfield unblocked. It's a good call. Get there. Olivier Vernon with his second sack on the game. And his 10th sack on the year. And we are getting pressure on the quarterback today. I love it. We've got the personnel for it. This is one of the best defensive lines in football. Thank God. Our defense has been pretty dominant. And we've been shut down as well. But Saquon Barkley finding some space there. Why are we not handing the ball off more? We might have time here. No, it's underthrown and nearly intercepted. Laletta hit as he's... You know, it was a throw in there. We had square. I think that's Sterling Shepard. It would have been a touchdown. Something's got to get open here. We got Howard Russell over the top. I need that to be a good ball. Slightly underthrown. Man. <sighs> Two receivers in the area. It wasn't a good route concept. Um, 
we're gonna have to punt. Man, I really thought we had Howard Russell there. I need to, if that's a perfect ball from Laletta, we probably do. To run, and it, can you call that shut down? Back-to-back -back plays using B.J. Goodson, destroying the Philadelphia Eagles. Third and 15. Can we play some defense here? Can we shut them down? I'll allow a check down. I don't care about that. That is not what I want. That is not what we wanted. Parker Kuhn has been very, very good. Carson Wentz threw a bullet immediately. And that crushed our zone. Get there. Get after the quarterback. Come on, man. Carson Wentz. Only a few incompletions, and the interception, of course, was a user pick. Do we need to get better playmakers on defense? I don't know. We, we've got a great D-line, but the secondary, I feel like it lets me down. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care about that on third down. Field goal does not give them the lead, does not tie the game. We're more than fine. Now it's third and 24. We're not going to fade. We're just going to streak both. All right, give me a second to throw. We're gonna roll out. And that's not what I wanted to do. And it should have worked, but it didn't. That was that was an overall bad play. I didn't really want to throw to Evan Ingram there. I pressed the wrong button. It should have worked out. I don't know how he drops that pass. Now we're in trouble. Because now the Eagles can play this slow brand of football that they've been doing. And Carson Wentz has been unbelievable. Oh, it's a play action. I'm going to get screwed here if we don't get the sack, but we do. B.J. Goodson with his second on the game. That's what you love to see. If we're sending blitzes, I need to be able to get to the quarterback when they're running play action. Thankfully, we have been today. Someone get after the quarterback. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Philly's going to take the lead here. It's going to be 9-7 to seven unless somehow we can block it, which we will not be able to do. The kick is good. Jake Elliott this time makes it. He missed one earlier, of course. You guys will remember that. But we are down 9-7. to seven. We've only managed to score one touchdown against this Eagles defense. We just haven't had time in the pocket to do what we want. There's Saquon. It's going to have to be checkdowns, man. It's been effective. we got to get the ball to our playmakers and... I think, you know, for everything you could say about Odell in this franchise, Saquon Barkley has been arguably the biggest playmaker. Odell's been incredible. I mean, it, it's tough to choose. Who do you guys think? In the comments section down below, let me know if you've been watching a lot of this Giants franchise. Who do you think has been a bigger playmaker? Saquon Barkley or Odell Beckham Jr.? Saquon Barkley! What are you doing? Saquon Barkley's unstoppable! Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness. What was that? Third and five. Call and play action. And the lob. What? Yo. There's no way he makes that play. Yeah, let me see Kyle Oletta throw an incomplete pass. We have our receiver. If I, if I bullet pass it there, I guarantee you it's picked. So I lob it. What? What? Yo. How? 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 <laughs> There's no way. That's inhuman. Unbelievable. We're going to have to kick the field goal. And uh, hopefully I don't shank this without a kick arc, dude. Nope. We get it in there. Take a 10-9 lead. Uh, what is that? That is unbelievable is what that is. I don't know what that animation is, but I hate it. Third and goal. Get after the quarterback. Switch on. Thank you. P.J. Goodson with his third sack of the game. He's going to get re-signed. That's his fifth sack in the season. He has like probably around five interceptions. A ton of tackles for loss. Even if it is me usering a lot. I mean, his stat line deserves a contract. Elliott's kick is good. Philadelphia will take a 12-10 lead. That was a that was over 50 yards. Wow. Okay. Detroit, Detroit. 
Go Saquon. Go Saquon. Go Saquon. Saquon Barkley to the open field. And he does this about once a game. No one's catching him. Saquon Barkley end zone touchdown. We're going to take the lead. And uh, there's no real point to go for two here other than to make it a six point game. So we are going to. Even though it wants us to attempt the field goal, there's no point. We are absolutely going for it. We've also subbed in Saquon Barkley at fullback, and we're going to hand it to him. Saquon Barkley showcasing the speed, and that is the touchdown. 18-12, to 12, so in the circumstance that they score, and then in the unlikely circumstance that they miss the extra point, we will win the game anyway. Or, well, it'd be, it'd be tied, but it would give us a better chance is what I'm saying. Let's go! Roman Pugh with his second sack of the game. Good coverage sack, too. I mean, he got individual pressure, but nothing was getting open, and you love to see it. It's going to be second and 17, as this is the defense's coming out party. Finally getting pressure after the quarterback, and checkdowns are not going to do it, Carson Wentz. They're not going to do it. They actually might do it. There's a time, and they have three timeouts. It is third and nine, though. That's got to be a pick. Landon Collins intercepts Carson Wentz, and that could be the ball game. It's not, but it could be. Landon Collins, incredible play to jump in front of that pass, and that's what you like to see. Carson Wentz finally makes a real mistake, and we can ice the game here. We're actually going to call a timeout here. I have no idea where this kick arc might be, so we're just going to burn a timeout. We probably will not need it. And uh, we are going to attempt the field goal here in fourth and eight. Just slightly over to the right. And that should be drilled pretty much right down the middle. The score will be 21 to 12, New York Giants. It's going to be very, very unlikely that uh, we relinquish this lead. That's mine. User pick, easy reads. The second one of the game for BJ Goodson. Oh, what's a children's book? Uh, good night, Moon. And good night to the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, that's about to be mine. It's got to be mine. One of these are pick. Carson Wentz suddenly has three interceptions after dominating the game. Shout out to the user. This game's got to be over. Third and six. Just end it. That's an interception. Carson Wentz suddenly his fourth of the game. It's Bruce Sard who gets the pick. And uh, I like to see that. Kyle, uh, Kyle Loletta was outplayed by Carson Wentz. Absolutely. I mean, you can see it. It wasn't really even close. But I'll tell you, those interceptions of the fourth quarter that didn't really matter don't tell the story. Jay was shut down time and time again. Saquon Barkley had a huge run that just really tells the story of this game. And uh, offensively, through the air, we didn't really do much. Sterling Shepard with a touchdown. This is his only catch. Uh, and Eric Faison was kind of dominated at the start. But this defense got after it. B.J. Goodson, three sacks. Olivier Vernon, Roman Pugh, each with two. We had a cornerback blitz. There's defensive back blitz. Strong safety for Tedrick Thompson with the sack. Interception, two for B.J. Goodson. One for Daniel Broussard, the rookie out of Utah. And then one for Landon Collins. Pick six for Landon Collins as well. Or for B.J. Goodson, excuse me. But that is going to be the ball game. So we have some upgrade points. Saquon Barkley leading the way. And uh, what do we want to do? We could do elusive back. What do we need? His juke's already high. It's been already high. We could do catching. We can really go anywhere we want with this. It doesn't particularly matter. I might even lean towards trucking. Um... I do like to lower the shoulders sometimes. We're going to go power back. Doesn't upgrade his overall, but it does boost break tackle. And then plus three to trucking. I'll take that. I like that. Roman Pugh also here. It's got to be power rusher. Just rusher all day with him. He's up to 92 with confidence. Let's go ahead and boost that even more. He goes up to an 89 overall. Fits the scheme. What else does he get? Uh, pretty minor upgrades, but I'll take the plus one uh, to power moves. He's up to 93. Dalvin Tomlinson, run stopper, makes the most sense for us. And that's going to do uh, quite a bunch. Only plus ones, but 
it's worth it over the time. I wouldn't whirl if he's your favorite player because he's going to be pretty good pretty soon. Also, yeah, they added this. They added an upgrade players thing. Oh, and DeMar Jacobs has a skill point. That is cool on the simulation. Wish we could get his speed up, but that's very unlikely. So we're just going to, you know, boost his main thing, and that is possession. He goes up to an 80 overall. So we have a very sound receiver core now. Receiving core. And um, we can also see weekly awards from the same spot. BJ Goodson probably won it. He did. Three sacks, two interceptions, and a touchdown is an incredible week. And uh, in week 15, it was Lorenzo Carter and Kyle Oletta. We've been in here a couple times. Not some, you know, we miss it, but we've been in there pretty often, pretty recently. BJ Goodson has absolutely deserved an extension, though. So we are going to extend him to, uh, he's 26, four years. 2.5 seems good to me. And uh, BJ Goodson's going to resign. So you guys wanted it. And uh, he definitely deserved it as his season this year and even last year. They've just been incredible. It's a shame his overall is as low as it is. But, I mean, check out this this year's numbers. He has eight interceptions. And I know user picks, whatever. He still has them. Five sacks, 10 tackles for loss, 117 tackles. It's just been such an unreal year for him. No forced fumbles, though. We don't really get many of those. This cornerback class just overall is pretty bad. Wendell Knox out of Stanford in the fourth round looks good. And we know about late round corners out of Stanford. Shout out to Richard Sherman, especially some with some size. 6'2", 2'12", all right. All right, Wendell. Wendell, I don't know. So this is the last week of the season. And this could be a longer episode, but we're going to play... Some of the moments, maybe. They're a very bad overall. I would hope that in simulation we do all right. Jets coming out in some pretty cool-looking uniforms. And, of course, we are at MetLife Stadium. Formerly, well, I guess this stadium was never Giant Stadium, but you guys know what I mean. It is decked out in Jets gear so far today. And we're going to skip a lot of moments here as we get on the board early with a touchdown. And um, the Jets score a field goal. We're going to take a 10-3 lead here. Big third down. Uh, we're still not going to step in. Third down, we'll step in here. I don't want this part to be super long as we've already played a full game. Somebody better make the play, though. Third and goal. No touchdowns. And they're not going to get it. Are they? No, they're not. Sam Darnold already has thrown an interception, though. like to see that. And the Jets have answered. They're making this close. It's the third quarter. And it is a way closer game than I would have liked. 13 to 9, and we're still not going to hop in on offense. Third and goal from the three. All right, let's hop in and uh, probably hand the ball off to Saquon, right? Why are they showing these two fumbles? Don't just, just get in the end zone. Get in the end zone, Saquon. Get in the end zone. You are killing me. It'd be 16 to 9, seven points. Yeah, we'll settle for the field goal. 19 to 9 now, 26 to 9. And they are going for it on fourth down. So we're going to step in here. And hopefully somebody makes a play. Lorenzo Carter is that great kind of middle linebacker style of player when we run nickel like this. And if you throw at me, it's going to be a mistake. That is not at me. That is open, though, and complete to Brown down the sidelines. Man, good stuff from the Jets. They keep showing that Saquon's fumbled. I, I don't like this foreshadowing of Saquon's going to fumble again here. But he's going to break a tackle on that one. Look at the first down. 24 rushes for Saquon today. 77 yards. Where is Saquon on the season? He's got to be pretty close to uh, 2,000 yards, which sounds ridiculous. But, I mean, that's the neighborhood we're, uh, we're living in. We're knocking on the door of 2,000 yards for Saquon Barkley. Here's the handoff. Saquon, go through him if you can't go around him. He's up or over 100 on the game. And that is going to be the ball game as we manage to, and I'll say barely, barely beat the Jets. Uh, we, we do get the win, though. And we'll check out the stats. Kyle Laletta had a pretty decent rating here as the Jets threw the ball a lot. And uh, fairly successfully. Touchdown and interception for Sam Darnold, which he threw earlier. Kyle Oletta was uh, 
perfect on the day and the fact that he did not throw an interception two touchdowns for him rushing saquon only averaged 3.3 on the ground no touchdowns but uh, that's the way she goes sometimes jerome brown did pretty well howard russell 70 yards and a touchdown who had the other touchdown sterling shepherd so odell has slowed down a lot near the end but we did get a little bit of pressure on the quarterback tackles for loss the jets were all over us today Sacks for Lorenzo Carter and Damon Harrison. Interceptions for Janoris Jenkins. Force fumbles for nobody and then no defensive touchdowns either. BJ Goodson's got an upgrade point. And I think I'm probably going to put it into field general if I'm being honest. Run stopper. What are your, uh, what's your block shot? 84? That's pretty high already. Pursuit tackling versus play rec pursuit tackling. This would add hit power. What's his hit power? Uh, 88. You know what? Nah, we're gonna go field general. I'm gonna follow my gut. 82 overall now for BJ Goodson with confidence. Plus two tackle, plus one awareness, plus one play rec. And then Kyle Laletta has one as well. Although he is probably, uh, not on this team for too much longer. Or not the starting quarterback, depending on what we do in the offseason. Throw power goes up, though. And you know what? That... That would maybe make me reconsider, because that's... I mean, he's pretty good now. And we have even more upgrade points. Roman Pugh, right back in a power rusher. That is not Roman Pugh. That is Kyle Laletta. We have plus one power moves, though, for Roman Pugh. Up to a 94 power move. Love that. And then Nat DeGear, that's still Kyle Laletta. Kyle Laletta, he's just... He is the team. That's what this means. And uh, we're going to go into zone here. Because, you know, Nat DeGear maybe might make a transition to free safety at some point. Plus two to zone coverage. 86 zone. I mean, he's a decent player. That is the season, though, guys. We'll go over all the yearly awards more in depth in the offseason. We got the playoffs coming up. We got yearly awards. Saquon Barkley wins MVP. That's going to be a decent amount of XP for him. No other Giants in here. Coach of the year. Bet your ass it's Bengus Khan. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Saquon Barkley. Uh, surprised Odell didn't get in here with the season that he had. Defense Player of the Year is BJ Goodson. Lorenzo Carter at number two. Janoris Jenkins at number nine, really. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Parker Kuhn over Howard Russell. DeMar Jacobs in there at number nine. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year is De DeAndre Laramore. Roman Pugh at number four. Morris Dubose at number six. Nat DeGear at number seven. We played a lot of rookies this year. Saquon Barkley has five upgrade points for winning MVP. Five. BJ Goodson gets one for Defensive Player of the Year. How does Roman Pugh have three? He made the Pro Bowl. Okay. And now he has Superstar Development. I love that. <laughs> I love that. The rich get richer. Morris Dubose, uh, a little bit disappointing that he did not get anything major. But we've been focus training him, so maybe one day. You'll, you'll, we'll use some of these points right now. And uh, we're going to go back in a field general for BJ Goodson. This does not boost his overall. Leaves him at an 82. But we got small boosts here and there. I like that. And he also has star development. He might have had that, though. For Obi Melifon, we're going to go zone. That boosts him up to a 79 overall. Plus two to zone coverage, which is pretty big for him. It goes up to a 76. Let me check out BJ Goodson. Did he get anything here? He got plus star development. He won linebacker of the year, led the NFL in interceptions, won defensive player of the year. Uh, it doesn't look like he made the Pro Bowl, though, which is interesting. All right, Roman Pugh. You guys probably know where I'm going with this. It's going to be power rusher. It's, it's got to be. Just get him up, you know, as good as he can be. As that is going to upgrade quite a lot. Plus three to hit power, even. I will go power rusher again. Show me just a big bump to something. Only plus ones. But he's sitting at 96 power moves. And you know what? What do we need here? What's your block shedding looking like? It is only a 75. So we are going to go into run stopper. Doesn't boost his overall. I think it took his confidence down. So it, it may have overall. Plus one block shedding. I'll take it. Field general again for Kyle Laletta, who moves up to a 76 overall. He is going to make a... Uh, he's going to make this tough because, I mean, we could replace him. It's just that awareness it's bringing down his overall. He's actually not that bad. And his uh, his throw under pressure is, is near an 80. And he made the Pro Bowl. 
That's where he got that XP from. All right. He's probably not even done either. And uh, Saquon Barkley has five upgrade points. We'll go into Elusive Back that takes him up to a 95 overall with confidence, of course. Plus one speed. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Plus one speed. 93 speed for Saquon Barkley. He won a lot. He won a lot. So he got he got rewarded, I think, uh, accordingly. We'll go into Elusive Back again. Plus one speed would be awesome again. We don't get it. Uh, let's try Receiving Back. Takes him up to a 97 overall. Speed here would be awesome, but I doubt it. Just all, uh, you know, catching stats there. We'll go Power Back, which really highly unlikely will touch speed. But, you know, I, I want it now. As that doesn't even touch trucking. And the last one, we'll go into Elusive Back. Get him up to a 98 overall with confidence. No pluses, no boost to speed there. But 93 speed, I think it's pretty significant over 92, honestly. 98 juke move, 95 spin move. He looks like a very, very good player. I mean, clearly, you guys know. He had a great season for us. And then Will Hernandez has, uh, has two here. And we could go into Agile. Could go into Pass Protector. I'm not sure what I want our scheme to eventually be. In the vertical power run scheme, we have 61% scheme fit, which doesn't sound incredibly high. But it fits with Odell. It fits with Kyle Aletta. Saquon Barkley no longer really even needs XP. He's a 98 overall with superstar development. It fits for Will Hernandez. Fits for our left tackle, Trent Brown. The only one it doesn't really fit right now is Logan Robeson, which kind of sucks. But I honestly think it's our best scheme fit for the players that actually matter. And Howard Russell probably can't be too far away from deep threat. Mm, a little bit. But we, we could eventually boost that. He's not that far away from an XP point, a skill point, if you will. And he has good speed. He's such a beast. We just got to get him more involved. And then Will Hernandez, let's just fit what our new scheme is and just go straight into power. He goes up to an 85 overall. Like to see that a lot. 87 run block, 88 pass block. The finesse isn't there, but who cares? He's turning into one of the best left guards in the NFL. Made the Pro Bowl. Wish that would have boosted his development. But I think we probably had a lot of Pro Bowl offensive linemen just because, you know, how many, uh, I guess maybe not, but how many uh, skill points we had and how many rushing yards and things like that. Logan Robeson, he did not make the Pro Bowl. Is it only Will Hernandez? It might have been only Will Hernandez in the offensive line who made the Pro Bowl. Yeah, and Eric Faison didn't deserve to. All right, that's fine, though. We have in the divisional. I'll leave you guys with this. Our divisional matchup is against the 10-6 and 6 Atlanta Falcons. Should be a fun one. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. We take on the Atlanta Falcons for a 430 playoff game Ugh, at MetLife Stadium. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.